another episode of the 10,000 Trades Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 Trades. In this episode, we'll take a look at an inefficient market move. An inefficient market move is when price moves suddenly. Usually, this type of a move is not sustainable and we generally see the price move back to the level that it was trading from. So let's go on to the charts and we'll take a look at how to identify an inefficient market move, what exactly makes an inefficient market move, and how do we take the trade, when to enter the trade, where to place our stop loss, and as always, where to exit the trade with a profit. Here we are looking at an inefficient market move trade setup. This is pound yen five minute chart. An inefficient market move is when price moves very quickly and usually the move is a result of a comment that comes out on the news wires or it could just be rumors going on around in the market and it creates market sentiment which drives the price up really, really fast. In cases like this, the price does not tend to stay up very long. Usually it retraces back all the way before it starts in the new direction that it wants to go on, go in or continue on in the previous direction. So basically what we're looking to do is we're looking to identify this type of a fast, a rapid rise or drop in price and we are trying to trade it in the opposite direction. So it's very important that we wait for price to give us an entry first. So here we need to make sure that price hits a resistance point. In this case, we have the 20 level here and then we also have the pivot point R1 level. And we see that after a long period of time, price is still not able to break the resistance to the upside. It's not able to hold, um, so it's not able to go higher. And instead we see that the price just closes below this R1 level and we get a solid candle close here. That's a red solid bearish candle close. Once we start to see that the price is holding uh, the resistance level, we can enter the trade short. In this case, our stop would go above the high and we're looking for this move to get retraced here. So in this case, our exit can be entered right at the same time. We can enter our take profit target, which will be at the base of this move. So point where the price released is the point we are looking for it to come back to. So we enter the trade short and our exit, our take profit target can go just above where the price released from. And we set our target and we wait for the price to come back. And we do want to exit the price here. We do want to exit the trade here because as we can see, price can just go back and go continue in the direction that it was going in prior to this inefficient move. So it's very important that we exit the trade. And if we see that the price hasn't quite let's say this was lower and the price hadn't quite hit our target but it starts to go sideways it's best to exit the trade then as well so just to recap here an inefficient market move is when price moves in one direction very very quickly and usually it's the result of a rumor or a comment that came out on the news feed so in this case we saw that there were some comments around brexit there were comments around how uh, the parliament, uh, the EU parliament was preparing to give, uh, to allow UK exit to the market in the European Union. As a result of that, the pound jumped up and created the sentiment for price to move up. But the problem here is that price moves up really, really quickly, creating an inefficient move. It's like a vacuum in the market, and then price will come down to fill that vacuum and then continue on wherever it wants to go to. So in this case, first we are looking for this inefficient move. Then we want to make sure that the price fails to break above the high. So we have to make sure price is making lower high and it fails to break above the high. If price breaks this high, then, um, then there is no setup or the setup has failed and we cannot be in that trade. It's best to exit the trade. But once we see that the price is not able to break the resistance and we get a nice solid candle close we can enter the trade short and we stay with the trade till it comes to the base of the move here where the price released from to the upside and we can just enter our take profit target right when we enter the trade. In this case from entry to exit here we got 33 pips in the move. 
So our profit is 33 pips or $330 if trading one standard lot. If you'd like to learn more profitable Forex trading strategies like this one, I invite you to visit my course at tradingwithvenus.com forward slash Forex course. In the course, I will show you how to read the candlesticks and different chart patterns. We'll do a deep dive into technical analysis and I will show you how to read the charts properly, what trade setups you're looking for and how do we trade these setups properly. I will also show you what are the important fundamental things that you need to pay attention to, how the different fundamental factors drive market price. I will also share with you the trading strategies that I personally use that I have found to be the most profitable. We'll also talk about trade management and how to manage your account and manage your risk so that you become a profitable trader. I will also show you tons of examples that you can go and check out so that you are able to see these trades set up in the live markets as well. As a bonus, you will get access to my pivot point indicator. If you have watched any of my videos, you know I really love trading the pivot points. So you will receive that as a special bonus. The price of the course is $497. To sign up for it, please go to tradingwithvenus.com forward slash forex course. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this episode, please feel free to subscribe, like the video and share with your friends. I'll be back with another great trade setup next time.